guys, I just want to um, interrupt this review real fast to let you know about why there is so many cuts, and I apologize that my hair and my makeup is not done. <laughs> um, I, I, me and, um, me and, sorry, me, I have this brown light, and it's super bright. It's like blinding me. Me and Travis have decided that we're going to review this e-liquid um, that is called Juicenstein together because it gives him a review and it also it's fun I, we decided a while a couple like a couple weeks ago that we were going to do random reviews together because it's fun to do a review with somebody and we have a very good dynamic with each other and it's just a lot of fun and also like whatever so in my review though I'm mentioning that I was going to do a poll to see if he's wanted me to actually review this e-liquid. Um, so that is why I'm having so many cuts in the review because I'm actually cutting out the whole thing about the poll and stuff like that. I do apologize. I try to make my reviews with the le at with n the least cuts as possible. I hate cuts in my videos but sometimes it happens and you gotta deal with it so this is the actual bottle of the e-liquid that I'm, we're going to be reviewing and it has like a Frankenstein type of dude on there <laughs> and it is a cantaloupe um, honeydew grape flavored as that is a very interesting honeydew, cantaloupe, they're all bad flavors. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. And the e-liquid is a little blurry. It's like got a little blurriness to it. I don't know if it's from the flavoring or sugar. I'm kind of hoping this is filled with sugar because I'm really, really scared to review this e-liquid. Um, so yeah. So that's my cut. That's a, that's why I'm interrupting right now. Um, I'm gonna go back to the review. That's all I want to let you guys know. And enjoy the rest of re the review. If this is your first time seeing my review, I apologize for all the cuts. I usually don't have this many cuts. I try not to. And watch my other videos. All right, bye guys. Love you guys. Hey guys, Fanny Vapes here. We're going to do a e-liquid review. We're going to be doing two e-liquids from Swag Sauce, so stay tuned. It's going to be a little bit of a long one, but not too long. I'm going to try to keep this nice and short and sweet. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe right now. Thank you very much. And don't forget to hit that like button and share and hit the bell so you're always up to date with my reviews. All right, let's get to the review. Oh, and look at my fantastic little e-liquid like thing. A little thing my mom got me. Got panda going on on it. My mom's awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we are going to be doing the swag sauce. Um, there's one e-liquid of them that I am not reviewing. But if you want to see me review this e-liquid, it is a cantaloupe, um, I was, I almost remembered it. It's a cantaloupe honeydew grape. Now we all know how hard grape can be to succeed to taste delicious. Alright, so let's talk about the boxing. The boxing is awesome. I love the marketing. I love that you see the flavor profile on the box. That is awesome. I hate having to always go to the website to see what I'm vaping, um, to see the flavor profile. I hate that. I do wish they had the VGPG ratio on the boxing or anywhere on their website. All it says is, is max VG. Max, I, I just hate that. I wish they would just tell you what it, the percentage is. I'd like to know. Um, so it says swag right there. So wag and it has like a cool little face going on a little scary dude it has like a skull going on right there and I think these are like just 
pieces of what's on their bottles because their bottles have different um different things going on they have like let me see if i can focus a little better they have like oh, nope that's not better do not drop this all right so they have that one that's for that's the one that i am not reviewing today uh, this one oh they do say my bad they, i just noticed they do say what the vgpg is it's 70 30. i just noticed that my bad so yeah it's 70 30 blend vgpg um it's, it says premium e-liquid so yeah i love the pictures on them they have like different things going on this one's like a skull with a hat and stuff yeah i like that I love, love, love when people put thought into their marketing of their bottles and their boxing. Um, obviously, I'm vaping a 3 milligram nicotine. They have their warnings on their boxing and their bottles. And they, they have a lot of warnings, actually. And they have the ingredients in 18 years and 18 years and plus. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. And also on the bottles, I just noticed again a new thing. On the bottles, they also tell you their flavor, the flavor profile. Digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Liking that. It is badass. All right. So we're going to be doing the Milk and Loops and the Killer Custard. Not Killer Custard, guys. Don't get that confused. It's Killer Custard. All right, we're gonna do the Killa Custer first. Oh, one thing I do, my one of my cons about these bottles, for us old folks, they're a little, little taddy tad hard. They they give me a little bit of problem squirting my juice in my RDAs, or if I was using a tank, it would be a pain in the butt because they are so hard. There is like no leeway with these bottles at all. Swag, you got to make your bottles a little bit softer for us people that are old folks or have hand problems, you know? You got to think about the whole crowd, not just the young people that have big muscles that can squirt these things. Like, I, I have problems squirting my e-liquid, like, so bad with these bottles. They're so hard to use. Um, okay. So, this is a vanilla bean ice cream blended in a sweet... Be Beverion cream. Not sure what Beverion cream is. Is I mean, if you know what it is, let me know. Is it a custard? I mean, I don't see custard in their flavor profile. Maybe Bever Be Beverion cream is custard. I'm not sure. But we are going to get... Stop talking and start vaping. I want to thank Swag Sauce for sending this out for the purpose of this review also, but it will not change my opinion of this. Oh, I like drip just a little bit because this hurts my hands so much. Alright, I got it at 76. Let's just make it a nice 80. I got a point. 07 build in this and this is my new mo um, mod from BM big big mods big mods 2 yeah does I'm gonna be doing a review on this very soon I actually um, have to he's I'm returning this one because there's a little dent on it that I just got it today He's such a cool person. He's sending me out the mod. He's not even making me send this out first. He's sending me out the new mod that he's doing, fixing right now as we speak and sending me money to ship it. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing um, customer service, got to say. I'm also using a nudge. 24 millimeter nudge because it got great flavor. It's good. It's very good. I mean, the only problem I have it, it tastes very similar to Killer Custard 
Uh, I'm a little confused about that. It tastes like super similar. Like if I had killer custard next to this one, I would think they're both the same e-liquids. Yeah. <clears throat> they taste the same. I'm not tasting ice cream. I'm literally tasting killer custard in this e-liquid. Like, I'm tasting a custard e-liquid. A vanilla custard e-liquid. That's what I'm tasting. Um, it tastes so similar to killer custard that it kind of confuses me. Like, how how that happened, but whatever. Um, like, but I, it's a good e-liquid, obviously. If it tastes like killer custard, it's going to be a good e-liquid. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you like Killer Custard, you're gonna 100% love this e-liquid. Um, I don't taste that ice cream. I don't know what Beverlon, what, I don't taste, I taste, I taste a vanilla custard. That's what I taste out of it. Um, yeah. It definitely got great cloud production. There's no throw hit whatsoever. Um, it's it's blowing my mind how close it, it how much it tastes like killer custard. It really is. Um, yeah. So if you like killer custard, I definitely recommend you go purchase this because it tastes exactly like killer custard. Um, and it I mean it's good. I definitely recommend you go purchase this if you like Carol Custer or go purchase Kill Custer because they both taste exactly the same. <laughs> That's my review on that one. All right, now we're going to be moving on. Yep. The next one is going to be Milk and Loot. I got juice everywhere. This is going to be the milk and loops. Splat because I can't squeeze the bottle. And I'm using my Ghoul RDA 22 millimeter single coil because it has amazing flavor also. I love the flavoring out of this RDA. You definitely get the milkiness on the in on the inhale. Um, let me actually like reset my taste buds. Yeah, you get a milkiness on the inhale, and you get like a cherry creaminess on the exhale. I don't taste orange or lemon, which is part of it's. You know, it's supposed to be uh, Fruit Loops. I don't taste the citrus whatsoever. There is no citrus in this e-liquid. There is just cherry. It's a cherry milky vape. That's what it is. It's actually good. I I vaped it yesterday and I didn't like it that much, but vaping it on a regulated mod. It actually tastes, you can taste the flavoring. I think it doesn't do well with high heat, but any of these e-liquids don't do that well with high heat. The Killer Custard, Killer Custard, sorry. It does okay with the high heat. I actually tasted it with the high heat, but it does it's way better with a lower heat regulated mod. I'm definitely enjoying the vape out of that, and I'm not a Fruit Loops cereal person, so I am actually excited and happy that I can't taste that citrus, and all I'm tasting is the cherry 
and the milky part of the components because it gives you a, cher a creamy cherry yumminess and I'm digging that a lot. I'm liking, I'm really, really liking this e-liquid. If I ran out of this bottle of Milk and Loops, would I purchase another one? I definitely would because it is a, it's good. It's got, it's got the milkiness in the inhale and it's got the um, cherry, creamy yumminess in the exhale. Um, I'm really happy. I mean, I mean, if you are looking for a Fruit Loops cereal e-liquid, I would not recommend this because it does not taste like Fruit Loops. It tastes like a cherry, a creamy cherry e-liquid, e um, a milky cherry e-liquid. Um, for for a Fruit Loops cereal, it's not that at all. Um, I mean, they didn't say it was Fruit Loops cereal, but Loops and Milk and Loops kind of sounds like it would be a Fruit Loops cereal. But I'm I'm liking it. If you like cherry, if you like cherry milk, like milky cherry e liquids, creamy cherry e liquids, you're definitely gonna like this. I never had cherry e liquid, and I'm liking this a lot. It is very good. It is not exactly what it says it's supposed to be, but the flavoring makes up for it. It is delicious. I'm this could definitely be an all day vape for me. I'm definitely gonna probably vape this all day. Um, but yeah, if you um, want a cherry e liquid, a cherry creamy e liquid, definitely recommend. Um, I keep forgetting the name, Milk and Loops. Um, now, if you're looking for that citrusy, Fruit Loops kind of deal that you usually get, this is not it. This is a total different um, range of Fruit Loops. It's just the cherry part of the Fruit Loops. Um, yeah, so that is my review on both these e -locus. The vape production, oh sorry, the vape production on this was amazing. There was no throw hit on, on either of those e-liquids. Um, they're both delicious. They're both good e-liquids. I definitely recommend you go purchase them. Um, yeah, swagsauce.com with two Gs. I will leave a link in the description. I will also leave a coupon, 10% um, off your next order. Enter swag 2018 at checkout. I will leave that in the link. Also, it ends at the the end of this month. So, oh no, sorry, my bad. It ends 12 13 12 31st 18. So in December of this year, it ends. So I will definitely leave that code at the bottom so you can go purchase. And get 10% off that's an awesome deal and they have a wide wide range of e-liquids like a ridiculous wide range of e-liquids so I am definitely going to be messaging them and requesting flavors that I would prefer them sending me <laughs> because I don't know about this cantaloupe one I'm not I mean the thing about this one too it kind of it's really cloudy like I don't know if it what the deal is with that if you see the rest of theirs are very clear very clear ear liquids this one's like very cloudy liquid I don't know if it's because of the fruits or something or maybe they put a, it's the same VG PG's 70 30 so I don't know why it's cloudy but Alright guys, that is my review on this e-liquid. They also can be contacted on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for AZ Swag Sauce on all of them. AZ Swag Sauce, AZ Swag Sauce, AZ Swag Sauce. Um, and they also have a store on eBay, which is AZ Swag Sauce. <laughs> and their website, which is swagsauce.com. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I definitely enjoy this. Both of these e-liquids are delicious, so I definitely enjoy them. I definitely recommend on a low heat. Um, 
vape for both of these e-liquids. They just taste better. I tried it on Mac Mons, they didn't do so well. And once I did it on the regular mod, the flavors definitely did pop out a lot more. So definitely recommend using a regulated mod for these e-liquids, not a Mac mod. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm trying to get 300 subscribers, and then I got some. I got a 220 milliliters of e-liquid, Fantasia e-liquid for giveaway. We're gonna be doing a pick, a random pick of comments. All you have to do is comment below in the, the original, um, the original. The original review, sorry, which I will leave a link of that up there. Also, the original review, I love the Tasia. I'm going to be doing a random um, pick of comments. If you don't put I love the Tasia, you are not in the contest and you will not win. Sorry to say. You have to be 18 or older you, and you have to send proof of ID in my email once you're a winner and stuff like that. And your shipping stuff and all that jazz, you know. Judge Jazz. Alright guys, I am out of here. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye!